vehicle battery testing can be done using the provided equipment, which includes a battery tester, a voltmeter, and a memory saver. All batteries are eventually going to fail, and as you can see, this one has reached the end of its life. When handling batteries, it's always recommended to use safety equipment, which includes safety glasses, protective gloves, and an apron. Before you begin, check the service manual for the vehicle manufacturer's recommended procedures. The next step is to use a memory saver as a courtesy to the customer to keep all of their current settings. First, connect one end of the memory saver into the 12 volt power outlet. Then connect the other end of the memory saver to a 12 volt power supply. And when using the battery, connect the positive cable end first, then the negative. Check around the battery, make sure that you don't see any cracked cases, there's nothing leaking. This one looks in pretty good shape, but it's very dirty. So we're gonna use a wire brush to clean the terminals so that we can remove them. Next step will be to remove the battery's hold down hardware. And in this case, we'll use a 10 millimeter wrench to get the job done. And then move the hardware out of the way. The next step is to remove the negative battery cable and then the positive battery cable. We may need a puller for this step. And since we have a memory saver installed, you want to take the shot rag, fold it several times, and place it underneath the positive battery cable so it doesn't contact anything metal. Now we can remove the old battery. Now we can install our new battery. And be sure it fits into the tray properly. And now we can install our hold down hardware. Now we can remove any protective caps, and we're going to have to clean the battery terminals. To do that, we'll use a wire brush. We only need a few turns, so it's not to take off too much oil. And now, we can also use this tool to clean up the battery cable in. Now, we can install the battery cables under the battery terminal. Starting with the positive terminal, and then the negative battery terminal. But don't pound the terminals on, as this may cause internal battery damage. And reinstall any protective hoops. The final step is to disconnect the memory saver. First, by disconnecting the negative terminal of the power supply, followed by the positive terminal and then remove the other end of the memory saver cable from the vehicle's 12 volt power outlet. After the battery has been installed, we can check the battery's voltage to make sure it's within specification. And in this case, we can see that it is. Next, we'll start the engine and check the charging system. And with the engine running, we can see that they are well within specification between 13.8 and 14.5.